Hello, welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. I'm Dr. Tukara. Guys, we're going to jump on this mission right now. Um, hey, buddy. We're going up here. He's still with me. Uh, I did go do some things. Um, I did a side mission. I did do the side mission. I believe it was called uh, what, Vault 75. Let me check my map. Let's see. It was right there. Yeah, Vault 75. That's what we did. And we got a new gun. It's not very good. Uh, but I was able to upgrade some of my weapons just a little more. So I think we're in good shape. If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. All right. I'll think about that. Probably not, but... Let's see. We are working on... Uh, we've got to meet a few people, right? Does it matter who first? There's somebody right there. Jump. Oh, I took my armor off. Hey, walking away like that is just plain rude. If Who are you talking to? Me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first. Hey, one. Proctor Ingram. So you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in bay three. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Uh, I don't know if I should ask about her legs. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway. If you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse uh, me, is she missing a stomach? Yeah, there's no legs in there. Okay. Well. We've got to meet a couple of people. Is this mine right here? It is. Okay, so... I'm taking this one. That is exactly... Shoes through barrels like paper. That's exactly why I left mine at home. I took it all the way back. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna take this one out. These are just—they just keep splitting up, like—and I don't like it. There's one with low. Let's use up the low one first. Let's get in. That was kind of my point. I don't really like what I'm wearing right now, so how do we That's look? What I call locked and loaded. If you have a moment, mm. there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Uh, no, I don't. I'm busy. All right, she's good. Who else do we need to meet? Uh, there's two. Uh, okay. You. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, yeah. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Hmm. Wouldn't vault Tech screening process have caught this already? Vault Tex screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had 
or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease. Never been seriously I don't know. sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? What? Uh, no. Never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh... Uh... That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? I guess I better... Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. I kind of do, actually. I think I have a disease right now. By the way, Captain Kate, how can I help you today? Yeah, see what's wrong with me, Doctor. Well, to fix the problem, I need to know what it is first. All right, never, never mind. mind. We're done. No problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, there's med kits over here. Let me grab some of this. It's all for me now, right? Something oh, you guys are... You, You're blocking me in, sir. Sir! Hear anything, Doc? Got nothing. Okay, let me, let me go. Not interested. Fine. Thank you. Back away. Is a stem pack. I'll take that. I'll take the blood pack. Purified water. I'll take. A lot of stuff over here. I don't use most of that, but I'm going to take it because it's free. Now, who's over here? Somebody? Yep, somebody's over there. Oh, there's a cat. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay, who are you? You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, what? What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay. All right, who is next? We've met three. Maybe we should keep going this way. All 
Alright, let's go back upstairs. Anyone over here? The Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Will do. Sit over this way. We may jump down there anyway, but I'm just going to find out who it is. Ah, right down there. We don't get fall damage, right? Okay, bye. That was nice. Ah, hello, my friend. Forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Okay. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay, that should be all of them, right? Now what? Completed it. Alright, good. Let me what see if I can buy from him. Today? Uh, yeah, let's barter. Let see what you have. Be my guest. Show no mercy. Okay, that's what I need to do next. Meet with the elder. Alright, we'll do that. So he's got ammo. Oh, he's got oh, he's got armor. Is that not what I'm wearing? I think it's a two. Uniform. Ah, there we go. Commando helmet. Okay, that's nice. How much money? Oh, I'm oh, I'm a little low on money. I need to I need to start gathering up some money. Okay, I just wanted to see what he had that was special. He's got a few armor pieces. He's got a minigun. Where is, am I carrying my minigun? All right, I gotta go, buddy. I gotta go. Jackson might have feared compassionate, but I can assure you, the institute takes his breath. All right, let's find our way up. Oh, I'm not going. I'm going the wrong way. We're out here representing the brotherhood. Victoria, brother. There we go. All right. So since this mission was kind of short, I figured we would do two. Let's go see what we, this guy wants me to do. Okay. Here he is. 
now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, I am. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Okay. Is this it over here? So I noticed, guys, that uh, I was reading a Wikipedia wiki about this uh, particular mission, and it said if you had finished uh, and institutionalized uh, before this mission, then this one would be locked away from you, and you couldn't even get this guy as your companion. And we've already seen. I've already done that mission, and so none of that was true. So, that's good news, right? Death from above is the only way to I get to use the gun. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. Where are we going? We're low. Oh, that's the brother. I almost shot him. All right, that's that's us down there. Can't reach him. Where? Oh my goodness, he's huge. There's another one right there. There's a legendary. I'm not worried about him. Look at Big Boy right there. We got it halfway. There's a graveyard there. How are we doing here? He's close. That's the butcher right there. I'm thinking about leaving him. I think it makes me land if I beat the big boy. All right. I, okay. Never mind. Oops. Oh, I got him. Okay, well, I don't, I can jump from here, bro. Light him up. Oh, 
Oh, this thing is lighting him up. Got him. This thing's on fire. Yeah, come on out. Alright, can I get out? I can get out, right? Let me out. You wanna have that talk now? No, I'm busy. Are you serious right now? Okay, that's fine. Where was the legendary? Here he is. Switchblade. Okay, that's probably worthless. Now, where was the big boy at? Oh, there he is. What you got, big boy? That's a little disappointing, honestly. All that, and he's not carrying much of anything that really matters to me. Yep. Uh, but I think we need to heal up a little bit first. Whoever that was, we heard it. Is he talking? Is he? Is my bucket head? Is that what he's saying? Got him. So this gun's a little stronger. Oh, hey. Interesting. Oh, salt shaker. Some things I haven't seen before. I may have to go down there. I'm going to clear the place first. I was not expecting three of them around that corner. A lot of 38 rounds. You know what? I kind of want that. I'm taking that with me. Got the key. Hell yeah. Very nice. Oh, mini nuke. I'll take that. Oh. 
Hello, my friend. Let's see. We also upgraded our shotgun. So that's nice, too. Anything else in here? Has he only got one nuke for me? Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay, he's got a lot of nukes around here. I think that means we take that elevator. They must be downstairs. That would be my guess. Well, this is the way we came in. Okay. Okay. Now we did that. Right here's what I'm looking for. Right here. Oh, well, maybe not. Is there an upstairs? Yep. Kinda. Yep, there is. Oh, technical doc. <coughs> Got it. I guess that's for what's his name. Is that my mission? I don't even I don't even know what my mission is to be honest. Yep, there's another one. Okay. Well, what was over there? You could see in there. Okay, that's weird. How do I get in there? not sure if I go that way or not but for now I think it's elevator time Okay. It's a little creepy. Bottle caps we will take. Oh, I didn't know what you were doing over there. You freak. Oh 
Oh. Where is he? This equipment's here for a reason. Move. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher. Oh, what in the world? Oh. Why is my... Am, am I messed up here? Oh, that's why. Got him. All right, let me let me handle business first. Taking that, just I'm not sure why. All right, where's where's the good one? Where's the good boy I need? There you are. Lucky machete. Nice. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Mini nukes. I'll take that in a minute. What's going on in here? I think I put my minigun away. I'm pretty sure I still have it. Where'd he get to? Let's track him down. Oh, he's back here. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Sure. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. 
dismissed. Okay. Let's go. this way aren't we yes let's go all right oh okay well let's just fast travel there then we're not doing all that yeah, let's go there. All right. We're back. Let's go find this guy. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system. So he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Nice. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood, Knight. However, You've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Consider it done, Elder. Very good. Very good. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Okay. I'm basically telling everybody what they want to hear. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me on all the socials. You can subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. 
You can also follow me over on Twitch. Join our Discord for exclusive news and announcements. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.